Why is it that we can never find our files in Microsoft 365? Because for over a decade of helping customers, I still know the problem today. You uploaded your files into SharePoint Teams or OneDrive only for them to be never found again. But maybe there's something that can finally fix this for us called Copilot Search. Because you see, Copilot Search doesn't work like the old search in Microsoft 365. Instead of having to know the file name or a keyword in that file, or even the folder you put it in three months ago, you can now ask Copilot in simple human language to find that file for you. And today, I'm gonna to put it to the test. We're gonna find out if this new Copilot search can do exactly that and find files that have been long hidden inside of Microsoft 365. And in terms of its release, well, it's currently in preview and is scheduled to be released in August of 2025 but it still gives us an opportunity to see how it works, put it to the test, and find out if Copilot Search is the fix that we've needed for Microsoft 365 Search in many years. Let's dive in and see what we can find. So let's get started with Microsoft 365 Copilot on the web. And on the left-hand side, we're gonna go ahead and select the search button, taking us into Copilot Search. But doesn't this look familiar? because this very much likes the office.com homepage that we've used for many years. It provides access quickly to your files. For example, we have an area with recommended files. That's files that have relevance based upon recent files you've worked with, projects or other data. We also see the quick access panel, which includes all the recent files that we've worked with. The shared tab showing all files that we've shared with others across Teams, OneDrive and more and also our favorited files. If you've favorited it in Microsoft 365, you'll be able to quickly use this to get back to them. But of course, this all feels very familiar. How about we change it up a little? So let's ask Copilot Search a question that realistically it shouldn't be able to answer. What is the capital of France? Going ahead and sending this into Copilot Search, we can see the query quickly there are no results. But instead, Copilot now searches the web and provides the answer right at the top of our Copilot search experience. So at a fundamental level, we can see what's going on here. It's a bit more like search engine results of an AI mode. It doesn't matter if the information is not stored in Microsoft 365, it'll connect to the web or other sources and give you that relevant answer. But let's step it up again. This time, I'd like Copilot Search to find some contact details that I know were shared with me in a Teams chat with Alex Wilbur, but I'm not gonna be specific around what date, time, or any other details around those contact points. Let's go ahead and send that into Copilot Search, and we can see here that we get our normal results that we would see inside a search. We see the details shown here, Alex Wilbur, including the relevant details of the contact we could left click and open that in Microsoft Teams. But instead, by expanding this here, we can now see that Copilot Search found out the one message that was discussed with me and even notes the phone number and the contact name. That's with no need for me to even open it in Teams, it'll give me the answer straight away. And that itself there is showing some capability that we've never seen in Microsoft 365 Search before. The ability to summarize, provide the answer by opening any additional files straight in the search experience. If Copilot looks like it could save you and your team some serious time, you're probably right. Because here at Your365 Coach, we know how important it is to implement Copilot in the right way. So if you want to learn how to master Copilot, why not check out On Demand Masterclass? that will give you the skills that you need to use Copilot in ways you've never done before. If you need to teach your team how to use it, why not reach out and find out more about our learning services to give you and your team real skills and unlock Copilot's capability. So other than that, let's dive back in and continue to find out how Copilot Search works for you. And let's change it up again, because now I'm gonna ask Copilot Search to find the latest Project Greenspace proposal by going ahead and giving this into Copilot Search, we can see it lists all the documents, much like before, in a list that we can see here stored inside a search, 24 total results. But this time, we can go ahead and see Copilot Search result, 
is found the latest version of proposal we worked with and outlines the details. We could also now left click into the reference to open the proposal itself. So we once again can see in real human language by asking for the latest file, we don't have to go through 24 results to find it, but instead it provides the result in a conversation that we can left click into and very quickly open up directly from Copilot search. But we can also continue the conversation with Copilot. What I can now do is paste in a question in this message box and ask Copilot what planning issues must be addressed relevant to Project Greenspace. And what we can now see is Copilot comes out with an answer to help deal with the planning issues that proposal covered. But it's not perfect. And I'll cover that off a little later. And alongside this new capability in the home page of search, we can also have it summarize your files for you. By scrolling down, we can see here these different files I've worked with, including a PowerPoint presentation regarding the roles and responsibilities on one of our projects. Now, typically, you would need to go ahead and open this PowerPoint to understand what it covered and then close it when you don't find it relevant. But now we can see here an AI generated icon. If we left click into that icon, we can now see it provides an AI summary of that PowerPoint file the summary of the agenda, the overview of Project Greenspace, team structure, and more. And this works both on PowerPoint files and also Microsoft Word documentation. We can see that here by once again summarizing our proposal, showing a preview and an AI summary of what's included within that proposal itself. So now from the home page of Copilot Search, you'll be able to summarize files without the need to click into them. So let's take a step back for a second, because as we can see today, AI inside a search is certainly changing the way it works. And it probably even has far reaching consequences to complicated search optimization. And that's because well, we don't need to remember exact keywords or file names, or we'll build really complicated metadata systems to find our files. What Copilot Search now gives us is the ability to unlock the knowledge that we already have hidden inside of files, messages, and notes that were previously, well, just lost in SharePoint. Now, does that mean that Copilot search is perfect? Not quite. For example, when you try to extend a search into a full Copilot chat, it doesn't always follow through like you'd expect, having a need to repeat yourself. And I'd love to see more personal, more visual answers inside a search, especially for simple knowledge questions. For example, ask the free co-pilot what's the capital of France, yet it's more conversational response, but not in co-pilot search. So the big question, has this new feature finally fixed Microsoft 365 search? For me, in one word, that would be yes. It's not without its faults, but it's the biggest step forward we've seen in years to be able to find those long last files that you thought you'd lost. So if you found this video helpful, why not give it a like, haven't already? Join thousands of others getting weekly Microsoft 365 tutorials by hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon. Other than that, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.